hello everyone and welcome back to seriously still board well i appreciate it's been quite some time since we've done a video and i figure that i kick off uh what will hopefully be a new series of videos by doing a, a road test on my 2016 ktm rc125 and unlike uh, my previous motorbike video that was taken in America on my Triumph which is in the country with me but it's not registered for use on the road at the moment I've actually got some corners look so join me here uh, in Lincolnshire where I'm now living and What's great about the roads here in Lincolnshire in England is that all the country roads are like this which is great for being on a motorcycle and being on my little 125 that I've had from brand new is you get to uh, use all of the rev range, all of the gears and you're never doing silly speeds that can get you in trouble and for anyone out there who's thinking that getting a small capacity motorcycle is for people who aren't particularly good riders I would strongly disagree and It's these kinds of roads in the UK that make it a biker's heaven really. You get to use all the gears, flip the motorcycle around a bit, just brilliant. some deer there nice oh mouthful of bug lovely let's go in here Well here she is, my 2016 KTM RC125 in a classic KTM orange, white and black. Now I know these looks aren't to everyone's taste, I totally get that, the front is a bit squinty, but I like it. I like the trellis frame, I like the colours, I just like everything about this motorcycle, I think it's uh, it's really good and for those of you who are thinking well I'm not going to get 125 because it's just a, a piddly little bike oh well, you know it doesn't have a lot of horsepower it's very small it's about um, 11 horsepower I suppose maybe up to 14 but the fact of the matter is you can't get in trouble 
you can't go into the regions of license losing speeds I mean this bike will easily do 70 miles an hour and I've had it up to 75 on occasion but you can really learn your craft and how to ride motorcycle especially in wet conditions it's where most riders generally don't tend to use their bikes but you know you can get real confidence in the way you, you treat it and the way you ride and so when you get a, a bigger capacity motorcycle then you can actually drive and ride a bit more lazily not have to use the gears as much but on these kind of bikes you really do have to use your gears properly but she's really nice in terms of things are done to her nothing she's pretty she is pretty much bog standard at some point i will get a um towel tidy for it but apart from that she's just perfect as she is so i use it as a commuter for work and once i get my triumph uh, street legal which should hopefully be within the next month or so um, i'll be fluffy between this ktm and the triumph for commuting to and from work but it is a really nice bike i love it and i just think it offers something different to the usual quality of rc125s but anyway that's for the, the talk round and walk round i get on and ride us some more I'll speak to you in a minute And also ready to race on the dash. Start it. It's nice. Got to be careful though on gravel. So it stands up. Let's do it. So when I take my motorcycle the Triumph to be its, to get tested for its uh, effectively its certificate of conformity if it was brought in the US I'll take you with me so you can see the process for any of those of you who are importing a motorcycle from abroad to the UK like I've done I'll talk about the process and what I have had to go through and also I'll take you out for a test ride on that motorcycle over what I've done already and shown you when we're in Las Vegas and there will be a video coming hopefully in the next month on the mini JCW club and that I bought my wife when we moved back here to the UK so those will be a few motoring videos for those of you who like those kind of things we have had lots of things progress with the house and we'll hopefully be able to make a video on that in the next few weeks um, once the builders were left we've had a wall taken down in the house and uh, once we've managed to get that work sorted and um, had the house cleaned up from all the dust and grime that's caused as a result of all the cutting uh, we'll send you that video online as well but thank you very much for watching do appreciate you taking the time to click on this video please remember to like subscribe and share and until next time please don't be one of those people that says seriously still bored take care bye bye